How are you doing? So happy to be talking to you. You too, directors and directors. Yeah. Well, Taylor Swift was probably in that lavender haze phase of being in the directing world when she got to be part of Variety's Directors on Directors series alongside Martin McDonough. Hey, Taylor. Hi, Martin. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so happy to be talking to you. Oh my, oh my God. God. That was the one. Guys, we'll that never was do the it one. that well again. A couple weeks later, probably that haze phased a little bit for her after she found out that her short film, All Too Well, was no longer in the running for an Oscar. Why are you so pissed off? I'm not pissed off, I said I was pissed off. Because you're acting pissed off. The Academy announced their short lists yesterday for several of the categories, including live action short film. Taylor Short was one of 200 films that were eligible, and despite probably being the most seen one with 81 million views on YouTube, Taylor is now one of the 185 that is out of the running. The Academy released the list of the final 15 contenders, and then those 15 will be voted upon to see who makes the final five for the actual category at the ceremony. Now, Taylor is in good company with those 185 films that are no longer in contention. Kendrick Lamar's We Cry Together also is out of the running. All Too Well is a very solid piece of work, but I haven't seen all the other 200 films, um, but I don't think All Too Well was robbed of a nomination, but it certainly deserved to be in the conversation. But I think we can all assume that, um, you know, the Academy would be all too well familiar with Taylor's work as a musician, and that might have prevented them from, you know, marking their ballad to vote for Taylor as a filmmaker at this point. But hold on, Taylor, before you get all vigilante beep, you still could be an Oscar nominee. Okay, roll on. Taylor's Carolina, from the film Where the Crawdads Sing, did make the list for the final 15 contenders for Best Original Song. It's farther than Taylor's 2020 song, Only the Young, from her documentary Miss Americana made it. It did not make the final 15 that year. So, progress, Taylor. Now, the final 15 is like a who's who of your pop playlist. Rihanna, The Weeknd, Lady Gaga, Jasmine Sullivan, Selena Gomez, and honorary Oscar winner this year, Diane Warren. Getting into that final five is going to be a real feat. I still think Lift Me Up is going to take it in the end. Lift me up. So it's a win-loss for Taylor when it comes to the Oscars shortlist this year. But yeah, what do you think of All Too Well being out of the running? And yeah, do you think maybe her Carolina could go all the way?